I've been shooting with the Zcam for 10 months now. Now I mostly use the Z-Log color profile and if you are a new owner of this wonderful camera, then you clicked on a correct video. I'm here to show you the easy but very effective way on how to color correct Z-Log footage. When opening up the footage into Premiere Pro, I check immediately how it looks with the Z-Log color tool. This is a plugin that you can download directly from the Zcam website. I'll link this in the description. This plugin, it's super easy. You just look for it in the effects, drop it on your footage in your sequence and voila. If you exposed your footage correctly, the coloring will look great immediately. If not, like me, there are easy sliders to adjust to your likings. I'm eyeballing everything together with the Lumetri waveform. I just make sure nothing is clipping in the highlights or in the shadows. I change the exposure first, most of the time I turn it down with 4 stops. I drag the tint a bit down to make sure it's not too magenta looking. And then maybe drag down the gamma a bit to have a more contrasty look. If you are here for the first time with your new Zcam, you may know already that you have to expose to the right with Z-Log footage. This means that on your monitor your waveform should look like this. Otherwise your footage will be unfixable in the coloring process. For some projects I like to use a different plugin called FilmConvert. This is a software made by the company Nitrate. This allows you to make your log footage more film-like. And I like to use these on personal projects or projects where I'm allowed to be more creative. It's very easy to use this software as well and I'm going to show you how. First I open the clip and adjust the footage with the Z-Log color tool. Fine tune the exposure. I select purple edge remove and saturation correction. And then lastly, it's most importantly, you have to select Z-Log 2 in the output color space. Next, I open up the Film Convert plugin. Select camera brand, which is the Zcam S6 in my case, and voila. It depends on your liking if you want to use the grain. I think it's a bit too much overkill, so I just turn it off. You have to play around with the exposure. You can adjust the exposure in the Film Convert plugin or in the Z-Log Color Tool plugin. Next, I change my film color from 100% to 70%. On the tab Film Stock, you can select different effects. If I have to edit very fast, I tend to use LUTs myself. There's a really great community on Facebook that talks only about the Zcam. And there are some great folks that have made LUTs especially for the Z-Log footage. For example, I have the LUT pack by Alexandre Don, the buttery LUT pack, and there's also a Alexa look LUT circling around that looks really great. So there you are, I hope I explained it properly. Now you can take your new Zcam, shoot some footage and color grade it very easily. I know I'm not a professional colorist, but for the jobs that I have to do, this way works just fine for me. Thank you for watching and we'll see each other in 2022 with another video. Bye bye.